Good morning, fifth grade. This is Miss J, and today is Tuesday, June second. Make sure that before you get started with math review, that you have already completed all of the practice work. Once you've done that, come back with your work in front of you and a pencil ready to make any corrections. So, for problem number one, you're going to find the sum of 17 and 9 tenths plus 20 and 9 tenths. If you stacked your numbers correctly and you did your addition correctly, your answer should be 38 and 8 tenths. Number two, going to find the product of 6 and 1 tenth, or 60 and 1 tenth times 1 and 9 thousandths. If you multiplied it correctly, you stacked your numbers correctly on top of one another. The correct answer is 65 and 509 thousandths. Now when multiplying decimals, we remember to always multiply your numbers as if you didn't have any decimals there. So we take out the decimals and then multiply. So you would multiply 601 times 109. Once you get your answer, you're going to add back in your decimals based on how many decimals are after, or how many place values are after your decimal point. So we have one place value, and then two and three. So when you put your decimals back in, you would be moving your decimal three place values to the right. And this is your final answer. Number three, Amy is working on a coordinate plane as shown to the right. Amy put the tip of her pencil at six four, then she moved the tip of her pencil as described below. So we're starting at 6, 4. Remember, 6 is our x coordinate and 4 is our y coordinate. We'll start here. And we're going to move three units to the right 1, 2, 3. Then two units down 1, 2. Then five units to the left 1, 2, three, four, five, then one unit up. Which point on the coordinate plane is the point where Amy stopped? Amy stopped at point B. So our answer here is B. Number four, the square below represents one square unit. Which equation represents the area in square units of the dark gray section of the model? So this is our dark gray section of our model. And we notice that there is 3 sevenths shaded in the top of our square. So let's go ahead and label that. And then here for our length, we have one third shaded in. So now we've labeled our area model. Now in order to solve, we have to multiply them together. So 3 sevenths times 1 third equals 3 over 21. Now 
Number five, what is the area of a rectangle with a length of 3 fourths meter and a width of 11 sixth meters? How do we find the area of a rectangle? That's right, we multiply the length and the width. We're going to multiply 3 fourths. times 11 sixths. Three times 11 is 33. Four times six is 24. So we now have 33 24 Now we want to turn that into a mixed number because this fraction is greater than 1. We know that 24 goes into 33 once. Our denominator stays the same. And our numerator is going to be 9. So our number is A, 1, and 9 twenty-fourths. Number 6. Julie was given a block of wood to paint in art class. She decides to paint just the top of the block of wood red. What is the area of the top of Julie's block of wood in square meters? So what dimensions do we need to look at in order to figure out the area? That's right, we're going to look at the length and our width. We don't have to pay attention to our height because if we did, then we would be finding volume and not area. For area, we only need the length and the width. So we're going to multiply Five and one half by three and seven eighths. Now, if you solved correctly, your answer will be B. 21 and 5 sixteenths. If you did not get this answer, go back and check your work. There are different ways you can solve this problem. One way is by setting up an area model. The second way is to turn both fractions into an FGTO, multiply across, and then turn it back into a mixed number. Number seven. 28 students are equally sharing five pans of brownies. What equation would you use to find out how many brownies each student gets? So we're dividing up the pans of brownies. So five is our dividend. And we have to split up those five pans of brownies between 28 students. So 28 is our divisor. Because that's the number of groups we're going to split the five pans of brownies into. So the correct equation for this problem would be 5 divided by 28. Because this shows that we have the 5 pans of brownies equally spread across 28 students. What's another way to write 5, 20, 5 divided by 28? That's right. 
5 over 28. Because we know that a fraction is the same as division. Now you can't simplify this anymore, so your answer is 5 28. Okay, that, much, that looks much better and more like a 2. That's all we have for math review for today. The secret code for math review is Halloween. H-A-L-L-O-W-E-E-N. Again, the secret code for today's math review is Halloween. H-A-L-L-O-W-E-E-N. Now, head over to your exit ticket. Complete it. And if you have any questions, please reach out to your teachers.